Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. <laughs> Bob, you'll hurt him. Okay. Bob, today the subject is the pelvic tilt. So right here we right. have the pelvis with the drain right. here. And we're going to exactly. tilt the pelvis. There right. you go. And we're right. going to tilt the pelvic. And there's two types of tilts, right, Bob? If you're a therapist, the two types of tilts we work tilt, tilts we typically work anterior on. posterior. Anterior posterior. Can anterior, you demonstrate? Anterior is forward. Show an anterior tilt. And posterior. Okay. Go to neutral. Good. Neutral is where we typically are. So if we look at the can you hold on to the next sure. one? Don't be gentle. Be gentle. Okay. Again, Bob shows So this this would be me just real quickly, Brad. This, this would be me standing like this. Right. There we are. Here's his pelvis right this here. Pelvis right here. Spine up to the head and We've got a beheaded, beheaded spine here. So anterior pelvic tilt is this way, posterior is this way. And the significance, one of the big significance of not what it does with the hips or the pelvis, but what it does to the low back, the low spine, S1, L5, L4. And when you do an anterior tilt, it puts the spine in a lower dosis, which is mm -hmm. typically our solid well, position for the spine. A hyper curve, yeah. yeah. Yep, and if you go posterior parallel go, it opens up the facet joints. It can put pressure on the discs. If you have a uh, herniated disc or uh, early signs of one, a posterior pelvic tilt is not what you want. you want to do. Right. right. So, um, we want to show how to do one, though. Now, the best way is probably start laying down, right, Brad? Sure. Yeah. And then we can show it seated. Oh, yes. Now, look at this. The spine will yeah. do it anterior, posterior, but now, now let's do the real yeah, body. The anterior, you can mm. see the body arc, the yeah. back arches. Right in here. And then when he does a posterior, you cannot get your hand yeah, in it there. flattens out. Right. Okay, and generally people are, they're trying to teach a lot of times the posterior tilt, it seems like, right? I guess either one. Well, it depends yeah. on what you're working what with. You're if you're, working if you're laying down and doing abdominal work, it's posterior. If you're sitting in the chair and you're talking about Posture than it's usually anterior if you're lifting weight. Okay, so I'm going to do anterior and posterior. So one of the feedbacks that we often have people do oh, is no. our cuff fell down. One of the feedbacks we give is you can actually put your own hand under there, yep, right, right? Right, right there. Squish your hands or your fingers right at your belt line. There we go to posterior so pelvic tilt. Moving that, that right. pelvis posterior. And you want to do a posterior pelvic tilt when you're doing abdominal work here. Or here. Yeah, that helps keep the spine uh, aligned where it should be out of trouble. By the way, Brad, wouldn't you start the pelvic tilt with your knees bent like this, right? Yeah. That, right. That's a lot easier to do yeah. the first time you're doing yeah. a pelvic tilt. Brad, you keep knocking our cups off. Oh, um, man, we got to talk to our, our, some <laughs> our, of our set sponsors. Designers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you're going to start in this position. You're going to put your hand underneath there. We already went through that. Part. I know. Okay. Oh, now, do you want to show an anterior tilt? Oh, yeah, but we're not really going to do that in this position too no. much. However, in a seated position, if you are teaching your children, because you're probably 40 or 40 and over watching this channel, right, Bob? Right, and if you're 40 and over, you're going to want to subscribe to us, because then we do provide videos that are speci specified for your age. Right. And on how to stay healthy, fit, and pain-free. Right. If you've got a normal, healthy back, and at that age, you're going to want to teach your children how to sit up properly with good posture, and you'll want to demonstrate to them as well. And you're going to scoot your bottom back into the chair, and you're going to put a little anterior tilt on. And that's what lumbar supports do. You put a lumbar support in here, and that's so again, when you're doing the anterior, anterior tilt, you're making more of an arch in your back. Right, this direction. Slouching like this Which is, is a posterior, posterior tilt, tilt. And that's not something you want to do that when you're sitting. That's right. going to make things that's worse for most people. Right. Not exactly. everybody. Right. But for most people, it's going to make it worse. Oh, I'm giving up on it. Yeah, Bob. Heck with it, Bob. So, anyways, those, you know, so it's kind of interesting, Bob. When you're laying down and you're doing that, you're probably going to go into a posterior tilt and maintain a healthy posture for your spine, but not in the seat. It's pretty much the opposite. What's nice about this is it starts giving you feedback, Brad, and you kind of know where your pelvis is. Right. Well, I mean, you can kind of start learning how to move it. Right. And that's when you can learn to use it when you're, how to put it in the right position when you're right. seated then. So, so those Hawaiian hula hoop. Who, the dance hula girls. They're, they're really good at pelvic tilt. We just did a video on hula hoop. It's yeah, on his brain yet. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so anyways, the pelvic tilt is a big concept that really is important to help maintain your spine. What are you pointing at? Good luck to the people. Oh, yeah. Okay, good luck. Have a good day.